Well, that was quick. I think I just found a Charmander. Another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled on point right now. Oh no. All right, let's see that. Let's see that trick that I've been seeing. Swirl. Okay, that did. That, that definitely did not work. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. I think we got him. I think we got him. We about to go ahead and rock it out tonight. We about to just travel around this community for a good couple hours and catch as many Pokemon as we can in one hour. So let's get to it. There's a damn Charmander. Ooh, Paris already on point. I didn't even have to move. Ooh, damn, he's jumpy. Oh, come on. If it can't bounce into it, I mean, some people use backwards in basketball. There we go. I got him. I think. Can they pop out of the poke on beta? They never... I guess they can. What, what happened? He just, he just fleed? Alright, so I would have never have walked over here unless it was for Pokemon Go. Basically, I have no idea where this goes. There's a community right above us with new homes, but uh, this is usually where the gardeners come from. I have no idea where we're at right now. And I'm kind of scared because I ain't finding any Pokemon. And this is actually the first time I've ever walked down this road. This is actually... Oh, damn. Where the fuck did that come from? Alright. Oh, I'm scared as fuck right now. You guys don't even know. No... You guys hear that? I hope that's a dog, dude. I've, ne I've never been on this road before. I don't know if I'm allowed over here or what. But who cares? This is Pokemon Go now. People are venturing into prisons. There's a car over here. It's one of the gardening trucks, I think. You guys want to uh, twist you guys around so you can see. Down there is like a gardening truck. I mean, how did they get over here, though? There's a dead end. Are you serious? I think I'm good. There's, there's no Pokemon near me. There's nothing. There's fuck all. There's fuck all over here. Hey, oh. Oh, wait. I think the road still goes. I think the road still goes. I feel as though I've used, like, infinite max repels right now. I haven't found one. Well, I found one, but it was right when I stepped outside of the house, and it was that Charmander that we just caught. And then 27 minutes later, I've been walking around. Let's go ahead and show you guys what my, my jogger achievement's at. 1.33 out of 10 miles. So 1.3 miles out of 10. And that's just right now, within the past, I don't know, 30 minutes. I've been out for 30 minutes right now. And I probably did 0.5, half a mile earlier, so. I'd say I've roughly done a good mile and I found nothing. A good mile and I found, am I even close? I'm not even close to anything. What is this? Uh, do I live in like, butt fuck nowhere? What is, whoa, whoa, what's going on? I know I'm walking in the middle of nowhere. I'm in a golf course. I thought this would be where the shiz is. I'm in the grass. I'm on. Okay, I feel like I'm about to fall. I'm about to go into another community that I shouldn't be in. But uh, it's okay because this is just how I do things. Walk, I'm just walking anywhere now. Security about to stop me. I'm be like, psh, psh, psh. you ain't stopping me. There, what, there's an app. There's a. Oh, it went away. There's no more ca freaking cadabra. It was not an app, bro. It was a cadabra, and and now it's gone. Oh my gosh. Oh, this isn't good. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. There, there's a Pokestop way in the background on this screen. And there's also a Pokemon gym. It is so far away. I have no clue where it is. And I do not know what's inside this gated community that I'm in. Um, my gated community is behind me, like way back there. There's three gated communities attached. Um, mine is way back there. And mostly younger people live in it. And now I'm in a gated community, and 
mostly older people live in it. And I, I just never come in here just because. I've just no reason for me to walk outside of my bedroom until now. And anyways, I, I, I see this gym and I looked on my map and it looks like it's outside of this community so I can't really do that. But let's see if I can click on it from here. Oh damn, I clicked it. This is a gym. A place where you'll test your skills at Pokemon battles. It looks like you don't have much experience as a Pokemon trainer yet. Come back when you've reached level 5. You can't do Pokemon gyms until level 5. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm level 2. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go catch Pokemon. But then there's a Pokestop. What is it? It is a garden statue at Kelly's Garden near Friendly Valley. Um, the Pokestop. It is too far away for me to do anything. But... I mean, where, where is this? It's a Pokestop module. Empty module slot. Can have a Pokestop module installed. C collect more Pokestop modules. So I gotta go to the Poke Store to actually buy a module. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Pokemon Shop. And then we're gonna go ahead and purchase a module. Hopefully we can get there and hopefully it's not outside of this community. If it is, I'm gonna see if the security would just let me jump out and jump in. Because I don't have my card on me. I didn't think I'd be getting this far. But uh, it's okay, there we go. Modules, modules, modules. Let's go ahead and just buy eight. Can we buy eight? Do we, I don't even have, fuck you. How do you get Pokey coins? They're not spending money on Pokey coins. God damn it. Well, oh no. God damn it. Well, okay. Well, just so you guys know, you need to buy these modules. These alert modules. And then you can insert them into specific locations. And then it basically attracts Pokemon for a certain amount of time, depending on the location that you're at. Oh, there's another gym right next to it. And there's more Pokestops. What is this one? This one's inside, yeah. Old West Masonic Lodge. I'm, I'm, I'm going over there. I'm heading over there. I'll see you guys on the other side. So I thought I'd just sit here and chill with you guys. Now that I have on my map, you can see there's two gyms. There's a yellow and a blue gym. And then there's three Pokestops. Basically the gyms are what you would think. They are actual gyms where you'll be fighting other players that play Pokemon Go IRL. And you'll be fighting their Pokemon. Now I do not know how the gameplay works as I haven't done it yet. And sadly you have to reach level 5 to even do that. So that's going to be in a different video on how I do that. But then when it comes to these Pokestops, let me go ahead and click on one. Um, it'll show you a specific location in the world, and it'll give you an actual picture. I have no clue how it does this into the game, because I am not that much into technology. But this is really cool. And basically, when you click on it, once you are in there, it'll say an empty module slot. So now you'd have to go to the Pokestop store in order to go purchase a Poke module. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. And then I click on the shop. you got to go ahead and purchase my Poke module. And then you'll notice, holy shit. I got no Poke Coins. Now, what are you going to do then? Well, sadly, Pokeballs cost coins. Incenses cost coins. The Lucky Eggs cost coins. The Incubator cost coins. And your upgrades for both your bag and Pokemon Storage cost coins. And last but not least, why we're even here is for the Lure Modules. Now, basically, a Lure Module is something you will insert into a Pokestop. Not all Pokestops are like this. Some Pokestops you'll find items. But the specific three Pokestops that are right next to, well, I'd say a good three miles away from my house. I just walked to. Um, I'm not there yet, but I'm almost there. Uh, they sadly require lure modules. There are no items at these Pokestops, but I'm able to lure Pokemon to them by using these lure modules. Now, if I go ahead and click on it, it's a module that checks Pokemon to a Pokestop for 30 minutes. And other Pokemon around the Pokemon stop can benefit from this effect. Now, sadly, I have no Poke Coins. Now, the reason why I'm talking right now is to show you how to get Poke Coins. Well, sadly, I can't show you because I'm not at that level yet. So, for the next couple of episodes, we're going to be just catching Pokemon. But there's multiple ways to actually get. Poke coins, and one of them is to go to the shop and spend your real money, which is a microtransaction, which is a way to get Poke coins for free. Now, I'm going to actually start walking there, but uh, first of all, we're going to actually go there. You'll be able to purchase them for easily, easily for about a dollar, and I don't know how much, how much does that give you? How much does that give you? A dollar gives you a hundred, and of course it gets cheaper and cheaper. Uh, 
five dollars gives you 550 10 gives you 1200 coins 20 gives you 2500 coins and so on and what you see on the screen right now but sadly I'm not the type of person that wants to spend so much money on this game I want to actually play for free so I'm gonna be doing it the hard way I'm gonna to have to level up I'm gonna to have to earn my coins the hard way battling different players and sadly we cannot battle until level five so I gotta be catching Pokemon right now uh, say poor as and then eventually I'll be able to create some guides for you on how to get your coins easily but as I remember from the beta you're able to get coins from specific Pokestops that actually do have items to give you're able to get coins from battling and keeping your Pokemon within gym slots uh, over a couple amount of hours you're able to get coins so there's, able, there's ways to get free coins but it is a very slow process but for now let's go ahead and head over to the Pokestops and I'll go ahead and show you what is going on over there well like I said earlier Sadly, one of the Pokestops is out of the community, and it is this one to my right, which is the garden, correct? The garden statue. As you can see, there's the gated community right there, the entrance to this community, and I have no option of going out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and show you the ones that are right in front of me. There's a, I believe one's a church. Sorry, car, for making you wait. There's an old Masonic Lodge, okay. And then the other one's a church, correct? Yes, the Friendly Valley Community Church. So we're gonna go ahead and get there as close as we can. There is a gym, and that blue gym is on top of an actual church church, a real church. There's 50 million churches in this valley, but this one's a gated community church. It's just a prayer, they don't have actual, um, I don't know what you call them, services, but it's, it's just like a prayer church. So I'm not, I don't go to it, I don't know anything about it, but I know they don't have services. They just, they got stuff. But here's a lodge. I didn't know they had a lodge here. That's pretty cool. We're right next to it. Here's the lodge for those of you that are wondering. Um, Keller and Davis Real Estate. That is that is freaking awesome, dude. I didn't do this community. It's a gated community and have these buildings in it. And here's the Masonic Lodge with the American Red Cross. Well, here it is. I'm on top of it. So let's go ahead and click on this. Uh, Masonic Lodge and community gathering place and I click on the arrow shows it to me in full view and I click on it empty module slot can have a module inserted I don't have any what if, what if, oh 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 you spin it around what is this I got a three pokeball three pokeballs oh dude that is beast and then I can try again later and then it turns purple to when you've collected the items. I did not know you can do that. All right, so now we got to get a little bit closer. I'll show you guys where the church is. Church is right there. It's a real cool church, actually. It's really small. But I, I think it, it, it resembles an actual church compared to some of the churches nowadays. They're to freaking rock bands all day. But this is a pretty cool church. It is, it is a Sunday right now. Oh, no, wait. Yes, it is a Sunday right now. So don't want to be too interrupting. But, uh... I gotta do what I gotta do. So let's go ahead and click on this thing. Can I spin it? Can I spin it? Yep, there we go. We got three Pokeballs again. So that is- Alright, so if someone has their Pokemon in the gym, it'll actually appear, as you can see. Is that a Pidgeotto? I believe that's a Pidgeotto. There's no way that's a Pidgeot. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can click on this Pokestop from right here. It's a garden statue. Can I spin it around? I got three new Pokeballs. Sweet! Hopefully I can get some good items though pretty soon. I'll be coming back here every single day probably because they're right next to my house. They're good, good three miles away. Good three miles. And then there's two gyms right here as well, which is pretty cool. No, my Pokemon still got it. There we go. Something just popped up. Something just popped up. What is it? Right on. Got it. Got it! Oh, right horn, not right on. My bad. Oh, it's so big. You can't miss. You can't miss on this guy. <laughs> Three, two, one, got him. That's how we do. How we do. What do we got? 100, 610 XP. So we might be able to level pretty quickly if I just keep catching Pokemon. That's the only thing I can really do to get experience points at this low of a level. So, gotta do what I gotta do. How much experience points? 610, so already halfway to level three. Pretty close. Pretty close. There's a Geodude pretty close to me as well. What's up with all the rock types over here? I live in a desert, but I mean, it's not... 
It's not super deserty. It's pretty green here. What about be able to catch? I I want to catch the lower Pokemon though. I want to catch like the Eevees, the Pidgeys. I, I, I'm sick of catching like the Pidgeotos, the Venomoths. I like to evolve my Pokemon if you guys know what I mean. It's a little bit easier to play that way too. See, this is our last Pokemon that we're gonna need for the day. While I was getting my community pass to get back into that other community, I have decided to go catch this Cubone that was underway here. I decided to pass up on it because there's really not that much time for me to play this game. Because when it starts getting dark, it's really hard to see. And I've got no HM flash on me right now, son, so. I mean, I wonder if my phone, you know what? I wonder if my phone will work on that. But there's a Cubone in like a couple steps. Let's see, yeah, Cubone's like right in front of my face right now. It's on the golf course where I cut, there it is. There it is! I mean, is there any cars coming? Let's do it on the street then. Let's do it on the street. There we go, Wild Cubone appeared. Got him. First time. First time capture, son. That's how we do. That's how we do. One, two. Come on, I'm already walking away. Level three, son. That's how we do. Watch, Cubone was caught. I got that 610 XP. Registered to the Pokedex, as you all know. I caught quite a few Pokemon today. Not as much as some of you. I know some of you are going ham. But, uh, level three, boom. Okay, congratulations, you earned a medal. Registered five Pokemon in the Pokedex, got an achievement. And yeah, we've also reached level three. Sweet. Now what happens after that? I guess, I guess we find out another time. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and check out what the sign says too. I want to go ahead and show you guys what it says, so if I get kicked out, there's no reason. You are welcome to walk through Friendly Valley. However, you must wear your badge. Your dogs are not allowed. Children must be accompanied by adults. I'm going to have to walk through this bitch. So suck it. I'm walking through. And then, and then, private property. And then, and then, it says the same shit. So, if you guys didn't notice, I'm allowed to walk through. So suck these nuts, bro! I do got my pass though now, so I mean, I understand walking through could mean just walk through and walk back. But it doesn't mean I can't walk through. Where's my distance for walking through? That's how we do things here. But I have reached level 3, so that's pretty much the end of today unless I find any more Pokemon. There is a Menke somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and walk this way, away from the gated community over there. But uh, I'm allowed to do whatever I want now. So suck these nuts, bro. Ooh, there's that level 3 3 up. I got 15 new Pokeballs. Got no Pokecoins still. <sighs> but we got level 3. The achievements, the level up achievements come in quite late. Not sure why. But um, for now, stay tuned. We're going to see if we catch any more Pokemon. But other than that, Today's episode was a success. Getting kind of kicked out by a security douche. But it's okay. It's okay. We've got more Pokemon to find. We've got more Pokemon to capture. Stay tuned for some more episodes brought to you by For the Win Itachi at youtube.com slash For the Win Itachi. If you guys got any questions, post in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for guides. I really cannot do that many guides because I am such a low level. I need to catch some Pokemon. So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. For the Win Itachi is out. All right, last 14% of battery. This game drains battery so quick. But uh, yeah, there's no Pokemon near me. I don't, I don't even know. There is not one Pokemon near me. I'm going back. I just thought I'd walk around just in case. Ooh, there we go, it's a Paris. Got him, got him. All right, last 15% of battery, and we might be able to catch a Paris. Come on. Come on. Right on the streets. Right on, Oh, no. Wait, why do Paris's flee so easy? All right, we got this. We got this. Okay, I don't know why that one didn't work. See, look at, look at the circle. It is so green. Got him. Got him. All right, come on. Come on. Catch this one. Why are Paris's so hard to catch? They're like the easiest things to catch in the actual game. Are you joking? And if the second, ooh, that, 
I don't know how that worked, but okay, I'll take it. And three Pokeballs, come on. Thank you. Finally caught it. So, I'm done for the day. I have no more battery left on the phone. Finally caught a Paris. The first one fleed. I don't know why. But I finally caught one. So, let's go ahead and see how my XP's doing. About, good way, good way to level four. Good way. Alright, so I'll stay tuned to next time. Unless I find another Pokemon and I have a couple more percentage of battery left. But yeah, let's, let's, let's do this.